Success in this pre-calculus classroom doesn't come with a traditional lecture. Two different groups at this table and they had two complete... It's about active learning and small groups with the professor as a guide. It gives students an opportunity to have this kind of conversation and not just passively listening and thinking they get it, but then go home and realize they don't. We work at it like in a group and like check each other's answers and maybe one of us will get it but the other one won't so then you have to teach it and I think that really helps like helps you remember how to do it yourself too. Efforts to improve the way we teach calculus are part of a five-year National Science Foundation funded research program. Seminal stands for Student Engagement in Mathematics through an Institutional Network for Active Learning. It brings the talent and the expertise of mathematicians, math educators, graduate students, and other faculty uh, to the table to try to improve and transform um, calculus education. The nation needs a workforce strong in science, technology, engineering, and math, the so-called STEM fields. But too often, students struggle. Nationwide, depending on the kind of institution, anywhere from 25 to 50 percent of students fail their first math class, and additionally about 50 percent of people nationwide switch away from a STEM major after their freshman year, often because of their negative experience in a mathematics class. Seminole brings together 15 institutions to make changes, gather data, and determine what works in the classroom. Early results suggest leadership is key. It takes some vision, it takes leadership, it takes, uh, uh, it takes a commitment to seeing the vision through. This is a function of us. Leadership at all levels fuels and sustains change, from longer classes to new teaching methods to the hiring of undergraduate learning assistants. Coordination helps provide a uniform experience and community. Faculty are actually talking to each other about issues of teaching and learning and assessment and they're building a sense of uh, community of practice around calculus, which has never existed before. Researchers are compiling what they learn to share with other institutions. Across Seminole, changes are adding up to success. The pre-calculus classes at UNL, the success rate tended to be around 62 percent. These same courses now, since 2015, have been very steady at 80 percent success rate. In Calculus 1, the success rates have gone from about 62 percent to over 75 percent, or in Calc 2, they hit 80 percent. I feel very great and I'm doing well. Uh, I'm doing better than my uh, Calc class from last semester, so this is pretty sweet and I'm pretty excited. Researchers believe efforts to infuse active learning in the classroom will lead to student success.